Hey guys, so I just finished watching Poltergeist 3D. Yeah, I got two copies. Didn't have the 3D version, so I double dipped. Poltergeist 3D, filmed in 2015, starring Sam Rockwell, Jared Harris, Rosemary DeWitt, Kennedy Clements, Saxon Charbino, Kyle Catlett, and Jane Adams. Now, Poltergeist, as directed by Toby Hooper, rest in peace, produced by Steven Spielberg way back in 1982, starring Joe Beth Williams, Craig T. Nelson, and the late Heather O'Rock. The original Poltergeist is one of my absolute favourite movies. It's a classic for a reason. A lot of debate in regards to whether Toby Hooper actually directed all of it, because it does feel very Steven Spielbergian. It's been a long time since this movie's been out, and as Hollywood is known to do, remake time. So they've redone Poltergeist, and I have to admit, as a remake, it's pretty damn good. It's really quite a fun ride. I didn't catch it at the theatres. I, I bought it on the, the home video format when it came out initially on the Blu-ray. Um, watched it and absolutely adored it. I thought it was really, really, really cool. And I was very faithful to the original whilst not being shit. Having... Actors like Sam Rockwell and Jared Harris involved have elevated the film to a much more enjoyable level. Young Kennedy Clements is in the role of Madison, um, playing the role that Heather O'Rourke played in the original. They're here. So it follows the Bowen family moving into a house and the same essential plot is taken from the original story where there's a new estate and it's built on top of an old Cemetery. Only the headstones have been removed, the bodies are still laying underneath the ground. Totally uncool. So all the spirits are restless and angry and thus our poltergeist is formed. Chaos ensues, special effects, industrial light and magic, spooky trees, scary clowns, and a pretty great story about a family coming together and saving their own. There's no pool scene in this one though, which was really really creepy because when I saw Poltergeist as a kid, the original one, the scene where um, Joe Beth Williams, I think, was being dragged into the pool and all the corpses are popping up. Damn, scared the shit out of me. But anyway, this is its own thing. It's a brand new movie and in 3D, I actually enjoyed it quite a bit. There was uh, good depth, a few things popping out at you. It was fun. I'm glad that I've got the ability to watch 3D. I know the 3D format is on the wane, which is unfortunate because it is fun, but... Um, seeing the movie in the 3D format gave it an extra little bit of a bit of a thrill ride, so I did enjoy watching it that way. So yeah, it was a lot of fun. So if you're a fan of the original Poltergeist, if you're nervous about watching this new one, don't be. It is a lot of fun. It treats the original with respect, does its own thing while remaining faithful to the previous version, and it just it just does a great job of it. The director, Gil Keenan, has absolutely nailed the fun. There's some spooky moments. Yes, the creepy clown is in this one and the creepy tree. Very creepy. He's also directed Monster House and The City of Ember, so the dude can direct a movie. So I'll give Polo Guys 3D a hearty thumbs up. Check it out. It's a lot of fun. Uh, once again, thank you for checking out my channel. Thanks for watching.